Hi guys, and welcome back to another Melrose reaction. Hope you are doing well. And today I got contacted by the band The Last King to check out their latest release called The Worst of It. So I don't know anything about this band. I did listen to one of their singles before called The Aberration, I think, and had this really cool uh, sort of juxtaposing guitar lines with the really aggressive, disgusting vocal performance as well. And overall, I thought it was a pretty interesting track, pretty heavy, pretty brutal. And we're gonna see what this one is like. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and we're gonna jump right in. All right then, three, two, one, click. Nice. Nice, we got a sweep coming. I like when bands do that. They have a nice uh, high cut uh, automated sweep happening. Hmm, straight in with some high speed drumming. Nice. I probably put an epileptic warning in the start of this video. Damn, that's flashing. Oh, damn, that's good. That was good. I like the vocals, they're very, like, slightly strained. They're really aggressive. Re I like it, the guitars are nice and bright. And I can kind of, like, make out a bit of that uh, bass at the back. Mmm. Yeah, pretty chunky. Chunky breakdown here we got. Oh, uh, we going again? We going again? Getting harder? Oh yeah, bringing it back to the early 2010s with that breakdown. Mm. Okay, we got a solo. We got a solo. Mm. I can hear that reverb on that solo guitar. Nice. Kind of reminded me a bit of um, the band uh, As Blood Runs Black, that really old school uh, deathcore feel, at least. First of all, I want to say really good vocal performances on this. Mm. And a really death metal feel on those guitars. Damn. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Some groove. Some hardcore groove. And a crack on the snare, damn. Okay, back to this section. I think I saw in the description they said like um, one of the bands they're sort of um, so trying to go for is uh, Black Dahlia. And I can definitely hear that on the vocal performances. Okay, give it to me, come on, give it to me. Give me some heavy. Okay, blast beat. Okay, some nice tremolo moments. I like this, it's all flowing really well. Mmm. Yeah, I can hear the kicks having that slight double time section. Mm. Ooh, we're going slammy. Nice, back to this hardcore section. I like it, it gives them um, time to breathe, it gives it uh, a bit more space. Damn. I like this, I like this. Bit of tappy tappy. Oh, we got we got two different things happening on each cup. Damn that attitude. Nice. Ooh. Okay, and that's it. Okay, that's it. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna give that a like for sure. That was good. That was good. 
All right, that was the worst of it of the band, The Last King. Overall, what can I say? That was a pretty solid track. Definitely, I'm just looking at the description now. Uh, it says, uh, for fans of Black Dahlia, After the Burial, Through the Eyes of the Dead, and Al Osha Paris, and I was definitely getting those vibes. Those vocals definitely giving me the Trevor style from Black Dahlia, mixing with that sort of Eddie from All Shall Perish. Didn't hear that much of the After the Barrel in that, but maybe it was more of their old school After the Barrel where they're still combining that sort of metalcore feel. As I said while listening to it, it also reminded me of the band As Blood Runs Black, which is a very, very old deathcore band, which had that sort of feel where it was like a lot of like those galloped sections, like which it reminded me of that. Overall, the performances were pretty solid. Now it comes to the mix. Um, I do have a couple of issues here and there. I think the kick for me was, uh, it wasn't gelling with me. It was lacking that weight, that commanding weight that really pushes the entire mix forward. And overall, it, because of that, I did find the mix to be a bit tinnier and lacking that low end. And similarly, I can say for the, um, the bass guitar, I wish that was a bit more upfront. I think uh, they went for a bit more of a tech death feel when it comes to the bass guitar. But when it comes to this music, I would have definitely opted to go for down the more deathcore route, which is very high saturated upper mids and top mids to high end section, having that really saturated and then the top end just being very clanky and having that really solid sub bass as well. And I think that would have really pushed the low end to the next level. Um, I also feel maybe there could have been a bit more uh, just overall reverb on the drum kit itself because I felt it was getting it sounded too clean in a weird way, but that's just me. But overall, I think writing wise, it was really solid. Um, I liked the hardcore section. It was a nice break from everything else and gave a uh, breathing space to sort of recalibrate. And besides that, I did really enjoy it. Looking forward to see what more comes from this band. But anyway, those were my thoughts on the band. And right down below, what did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you not? If you like this video, give it a like for the sake of the YouTube algorithm. And of course, subscribe to keep up to date on all the content on this channel. But without further ado, I'm gonna say huge thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.